Now, hey there, on this Tuesday, as we march ever so closer to Christmas, enjoy the next couple of days. Ideal weather. Mike Burrish doesn't put a 10 on the weather meter every day, and so when he does on a day like today, you know it's going to be really pretty. Temps in the upper 60s and wall-to-wall sunshine, and it looks like we're going to be just about as warm, if not even more mild, for a Wednesday morning and through the day as well. Temperatures into the low 70s. Now, Thursday, Christmas Eve is going to be the changeable day. That's when a pretty powerful storm system is going to sweep through the area. It's 100% rain coverage. And the uh, timing on this system right now is midday into the early afternoon. Mike says depending on the timing might depend on the variation of uh, severe weather potential. And we're going to have to monitor that one very closely. So my recommendation is keep an ear on the radio over the next few days. Be listening to the first alert forecast for an update on timing and intensity of this polar system that's going to be coming through the metro area. And make sure you download the WOKV app. You can get our severe weather alerts. You can set your alerts now so that no matter what you're doing on Christmas Eve, whether you're uh, racing around or headed to a holiday gathering, you are weather aware. Now, Christmas Day, dramatic temperature change. We're going to be breezy. We're going to be dry and sunny, but temps only in the 40s. It will be feeling very winter-like and perhaps festive for Christmas. It'll at least be dry, so we won't have that S word uh, that we're going to deal with at all in northeast Florida. But wouldn't that be nice? Uh, At least over Christmas or Christmas night, we're going to have a widespread freeze come Christmas night into Saturday with the potential of a hard freeze in some inland communities. So the updated five-day forecast is going to be unpacked, a very active week of weather. Be listening to the updated five-day outlook every 15 minutes on Jacksonville's morning news this Tuesday and throughout the rest of the week. Breaking overnight, the House and Senate both approving that coronavirus relief plan totaling $900 billion. Now, there were some members uh, in and the House who went against it in the Senate, Florida's Rick Scott, one of six Republicans who voted against it. He said who in their right mind would uh, pass something with over 5,500 pages, though he supports a lot of the uh, provisions that are in it, including a stimulus and more. Uh, Representative Ted Yoho was not present for the vote. Your other elected officials all voted for it. So Waltz and Rutherford and uh, also uh, Lawson all voting for the coronavirus relief plan. We continue to unpack what's in the 5,500 pages at WOKV.com and be listening to updates throughout the day on 104.5 FM, Jacksonville's news and talk.